Very happy to be joined by Sonia Gaudet, one of the newest members of Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Sonia. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a total honor. I am so proud and honored to be inducted into the uh, Canada Sports Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, Amazing. Now, as a wheelchair curler, you are a three-time Paralympic gold medalist, a three-time world champion. You already have been inducted into the Canadian Curling Hall of Fame, and you even had a postage stamp in your honor. To be in Canada's Sports Hall of Fame, what does that mean to you? Uh, it, it means a lot, actually. It, um, it means um, that there's some great opportunity out there to encourage people um, you know, with challenges to turn to sport for, um, well, for me, it was recovery after rehab. It's um, an opportunity to spread the message of the Paralympic movement, just, and bring awareness to Paralympic sport and draw attention to uh, people's abilities and really equalize um, sport. And sport is such a powerful vehicle. And uh, I know for myself, like on my best version of myself when I'm out on the field of play and it doesn't matter what field of play that is the ice rink you know the uh, lake kayaking or the wheelchair basketball court or a basketball court so it's just uh, an, an opportunity to spread the word about the power of sport for anybody who doesn't know your story Sonia can you share a little bit about how you got introduced to wheelchair curling and, and how you got involved Absolutely, yeah. Um, 23 years ago, I had a uh, horse accident, which um, uh, I sustained a complete spinal cord injury at the bra line level. So um, prior to that, my, my life was very much about being active and playing all kinds of sport. It didn't matter what it was. I just wanted to participate. Um, so that's what I did right away is uh, look to sport to help with my rehab and my recovery and just trying to get back to, um, you know, things that I did before and some type of normal um, life with my family, with my kids. They were only three and six at the time. So, you know, it was a huge life um, changing um, time for us. So I experiment with, experimented with lots of different um, para sports, adapted sports, and uh, then was asked to help out at our local curling club for a, um, a wheelchair washroom renovation. I mean, and that was in maybe 2002 or three. Uh, so, you know, five years after my accident, uh, I wasn't interested in trying curling at all. But once they got me into the, to the, to the arena to help with the uh, reno, um, I don't know, I think there was more to that. They wanted to get me out on the ice to try curling. It was um, an up and coming sport and they were looking for, um, Para athletes to start participating. Um, they twisted my arm to get out onto the ice, and um, but I did. And you know, right away, it, it was an opportunity and a sport that I could. Um, I was looking for something to do alongside my family and friends because curling is a real, a really integrated sport. I can curl from my wheelchair on an able-bodied team, so that's what I thought it would be for me. But it, it turned into much more than that. It, it quickly um, turned into, you know, playing on wheelchair curling teams, provincial um, play or regional play, provincial play, camps, clinics. And it kind of just took on a life of its own. Honestly, it did. It sure did. Now, I have to ask you, as a young mom, two little kids and your life being so dramatically changed at 31, a lot of people would have given up. Where would you say your strength came from or, or what pushed you to find such success in your new reality? Uh, well, certainly um, the support from my family, first and foremost, and the community at large really rallied together um, to help us through this time. Um, but uh, my love of sport and turning to peers with spinal cord injuries and, you know, right away, of course, Rick Hansen comes to mind um, and did come to mind. Um, because of all, uh, you know, the awareness that he's brought to um, spinal cord injury, raising funds, and just, again, the power of sports. So I right away said, hey, I need to connect with Rick Hansen somehow. How can we make that happen? And I was fortunate enough that one of my nurses, um, very soon, while I was still in um, 
thank you for general, connected me with Rick. He came, we chatted, we met. I mean, I had a long history of knowing a lot about Rick growing up in North Bend and being young when he was doing his um, Man in Motion tour. So um, it was an honor to meet him. And, and you know, really he um, basically just said, look, you're going to be able to do whatever you did before. It's just going to be different. And his kids uh, were the same age as mine, very, very close. Um, so I needed to learn, like, what's my life going to look like first and foremost as a mom? How do I uh, manage my three-year-old son and my six-year-old daughter? And, and what am I going to be able to do for them with them? So I saw firsthand from him and lots of other active peers through the Spinal Cord Injury BC Peer Support Program. I saw super, like right away, I saw people um, with the same injuries as me doing things that I love to do regardless of their injury. And so I knew that I was gonna be able to live the same life that I had before, just differently. You've accomplished so much uh, in curling and given so much to the game. What would you say curling has given to you? Curling has given me, um, yeah, like I said, I'm my best version of myself on the field of play. So it allowed me to be who I am. It allowed me to forget about my disability and, and it's, it's given me the opportunity to turn a really crappy situation into like a really awesome situation where I can hope to give that message to other people and role model um, just through doing and through, um, yeah, just, gosh, it's brought so much to my life. I mean, my, my coaches, you know, Curly Canada um, has supported us. Um, through this whole journey um, and it's bring it's brought purpose it's brought passion and yeah I miss it a lot like honestly it's you can't replace the excitement of being on a team that just works really well together and and you're just moving along as a unit you know working together for a common goal and um, and the excitement that's always there and you're building towards this, you know, um, final Paralympic game or world championship. And it's hard to replace that when you leave sport. I get it. I see why people come out of retirement. So um, it's, it's brought it's so many things to my life. When you look back at all of your achievements, what are you most proud of? I'm probably most proud of, um, and hopefully most proud of, role modeling for my kids, for my family. I mean, that's always been the goal number one. You know, they were my inspiration to get back into life. I had to, I felt like I didn't have a choice. So I wanted to show them first and foremost that, um, you know, our life was gonna carry on um, just the way it was before. Well, I mean, different, but um, still doing the same thing. So, um, being able to compete at Vancouver 2010, my, at, by that time now teenage kids are in the stands. I mean, that's what I am most proud of, to hopefully give them the message first and foremost and however it trickles out from there, you know, that's all a bonus. You've done a lot of work off the pebble dice as well, helping others with spinal cord injury. What are you focusing on right now? What are some of the uh, work that you're doing? Uh, right now, I'm focusing on um, just bringing the uh, awareness piece around accessibility into the tourism industry in our region here and into BC as well. So helping um, tourism businesses, uh, experiences, adventures, just um, have um, accessible op options for us. So outdoor uh, recreation, first and foremost, that's my biggest passion is just to make sure that um, there's adaptive equipment available, that you know people with different challenges are being considered when um, people are offering accessible um, or uh, adventures in tourism. Isn't it crazy that you started to go to the ring just to renovate a bathroom and then you are now <laughs> being inducted in Canada's <laughs> Hall of Fame? That is something, that is, that is an amazing story. Can you imagine if you, wouldn't have taken that opportunity. No, I, I can't imagine it. And, and you're absolutely right. 
it did. It took on a life of its own. It, it was it was never sort of um, you know um, thought of that it was going to go that way. And um, it's been incredible. It's been a crazy ride. It's gone so fast. I have so many memories, so many experiences that I mean um, I will treasure forever. So yeah, it was. It's pretty amazing that it's gone that far. Well, you are Canada's most decorated wheelchair curler. You are a true role model to many. And now you can say you are forever enshrined in Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Sonia. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.